Hello, you're watching Armando Hasu dengan biology and medicine videos. Please make sure to subscribe, join the forum and group. For the latest videos, visit Facebook Armando Hasu dengan. Like, ask questions, answer questions, and please post some of your artworks if you have any. Um, and also, you can change the settings to HD or original, which will make the graphics a lot better on these videos. So, this video's topic is on the cranial nerves. And we have 12 pair of cranial nerves in our body. Um, two arising from our cerebrum and 10 from the brainstem. So 12 cranial nerves, which means that they come from the brain. And I'm only going to show you um, where these cranial nerves are located, so the, just the anatomy. So I'm going to draw out a brain, a posterior view of the brain, not posterior, and yeah, inferior view of the brain. You can see the cerebrum and the uh, two hemispheres. And also here is the medulla oblongata and the pons. So the first cranial nerve is situated in the cerebrum, arising around here. And the first cranial nerve is known as the olfactory nerve, nerve number one. Nerve number two, which is the optic nerve, arises also from the cerebrum. Um, just where the midbrain is located, protruding from the midbrain, is the oculomotor nerve, nerve 3. And also around the midbrain, we have the tri tricochlear nerve, nerve 4, cranial nerve 4. Um, coming out of the pons, we have the trigeminal nerve, nerve 5. And also from the pons, we have nerve 6, which is the obducent nerve. Nerve 7, which is right next to nerve 6, is the facial nerve, cranial nerve 7. And just below, just where the medulla oblongata starts, you can see nerve 8, which is the vesticular cochlea nerve. And also nerve 9, the glossopharyngeal nerve. So here is yep, the glossopharyngeal nerve, nerve 9. Uh, nerve 10 is the vagus nerve, which has many functions in our paras, uh, parasympathetic nervous system. And it arises also from the medulla oblongata. Nerve 11, the accessory nerve, just above the spinal, where the spinal cord begins is the accessory nerve. And finally, nerve 12 is actually situated just under the, glosso, uh, the glossopharyngeal nerve, and it's called the hypoglossal nerve, nerve 12. So let's have another uh, view of where these cranial nerves are and where they come out from. So we'll, cut, uh, we'll have a mid-sagittal view of the actual brainstem. So if we take a brainstem and we cut it in, in half and look at it from a lateral angle, on the medial aspect, this is what it would look like. Well, not exactly like this, but similar. So, uh, and remember, the first two cranial nerves arise from the cere uh, cerebrum, so we won't talk about it in the brainstem. We'll start with nerve three, the oculomotor nerve. And this red bulge is actually oculomotor oculomotor nucleus. Now every cranial nerve has a nucleus where the sensory and some um, and the sensory sensory and motor information part actually goes through the nucleus first. Um, we have the tocular nerve, nerve 4, which is just above the uh, cerebrum, cerebellum, sorry. The cerebellum as mentioned in my previous video is for balance and movement, coordination, and the nucleus not surprisingly is referred to as a trochlear nucleus. Nerve 5, which is uh, just where the pons is beginning, is a trigeminal nerve. And the nucleus is referred to as the trigeminal nucleus. Now I'm not drawing up the sensory and motor um, nerves, I'm just drawing where all the nerves are roughly located, just to let you know. Uh, 
So nerve 6, the abducer nerve, is located also right around the pons and the abducer nucleus. And the facial nu uh, nerve actually wraps around the abducer nucleus. So here's the facial nerve, nerve 7. And the nucleus is the, the facial nucleus. Now at just the very back where the uh, cerebellum is, that's actually where the, the vestibular nucleus is. So this, this must be the vesticular cochlear nerve nerve 8. And here is the vestibular nucleus. Just where the um, medulla oblongata is, we have protruding out the glossopharyngeal nerve, nerve 9. And it comes in contact with the nucleus uh, referred to as the nucleus emigua. The vagus nerve, nerve 10, is also connected to this nucleus, the nucleus emigua. And it is vagus nerve, nerve 10. Nerve 11, the accessory nerve, comes just above where the spinal cord is beginning. The accessory nerve, nerve 11, connects to the nucleus called the spinal nucleus. And finally, uh, nerve 12, the hypoglossal nerve, as you can see, it's situated uh, just below, it protrudes out just below the glossopharyngeal nerve, so it's referred to as a hypoglossal nerve, nerve 12, and the hypoglossal nucleus. And this red thing on the top is actually the red nucleus, and it attaches to the oculomotor nerve, nerve 3. And the red nucleus has actually a function, I just want to mention, in movement. Um, so just yeah, that's something interesting. So that was for the cranial nerves. Uh, the next video, I will actually explain the functions of each cranial nerve and the disorders relating to these cranial nerves if they are damaged in some way. Um, so, yep, keep, stay, uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for the next video. Thank you.